mid-60s Cushman Trailster I picked up at an auction and I'm gonna do something to this of course all you Cushman purists are gonna be oh don't be cutting it up Carol it's pure and untouched well I don't like pure and untouched I'm gonna make it custom let me go over this this trailster this was made between 62 and 65. The reason you can tell is the fins on the side. The early ones from 60 and 61 had like expanded metal on here. So I picked this up at an auction and then I went to that uh, Dennis Carpenter website and I bought a few things that were missing like the gas cap and the muffkin and the tail light was missing. Now this bike, when it was original, didn't have a tail light, didn't have a horn, those were options. So this one had the tail light and this one had a horn because it's got the horn button. And another thing, it's got the gun scabbard on here. I looked online and I couldn't find this for a gun because this trailster was built for hunting and fishing. That's what Cushman made it for, hunting and fishing. Now it had a, a motor on it when I got it at the auction. This thing was only five horsepower and then you could get an upgrade to nine horsepower. And it had a cast iron engine with a real long stroke on it. So it had a lot of torque. So this thing could climb hills and stuff. And it has a two speed gearbox on it. it had a low and a high. That was still on it. I'm keeping this. I sold the motor that was on it because there was nothing left of it. It was just a block. There was no clutch, no flywheel, and it was going to cost too much. And it's only five horsepower. I need more than five horsepower. So I sold the motor, and I'm going to keep that gearbox, and I'm going to repower it. Now I already sealed the gas tank. I took the tank off and sealed it. And of course, I'm going to paint it. But isn't it cool? It doesn't have the original front tire on it. This is a Cushman front tire, but it's the military one. So somebody put this military front tire on this one. Now I took the rim off because I had to fix it and I needed to get a wheel bearing for it. But it's got the lights and the switches and the wiring's all there. So I'm going to repower it and make it go faster because the top speed of this thing in second gear was 13 miles an hour. 13 miles an hour, Dixie Chopper mower goes faster than that. I want to go faster than a Dixie Chopper. So I got me a 10 horse to Cummish. I bought me a brand new 10 horse to Cummish. And what's nice about the Tacumish engine is underneath the flywheel it's got the mountings for the uh, alternator so luckily since I got a lawnmower shop I save the flywheels with the ring gear on it for electric start and I also save the alternators so I popped off the old flywheel put the alternator on see there's the wires so now I got charging system and I save electric starters and it's got the mounts for the electric start so I mounted the electric start and the cover was already like this for the electric start so I added all that so now I got me 10 horse to come this electric start rope start engine with charging system and that's sweet then I had old go-kart laying around here that had this 40 series Comet torque converter on it so I'm gonna have to modify this a little bit and I think I can make this work. So I've already got ideas. Now I know you purists are going, oh, well, he's going to cut it all up. But believe me, when I get done with this thing, it's going to be a one of a kind. And it's going to look cool. 
and it's gonna have electric start. I'm gonna try to keep it as original as I can. I'm gonna paint it yellow again. But it's just gonna have a torque converter set up on it, and it's gonna go faster than 13 miles an hour. So I'm gonna chop this, and I'm gonna get this to fit back in here. And then here's my sprocket, which I'm gonna run to the back. Tire. So I gotta modicate that. Got the brake light switch is here already. Check out these brakes on this thing. So I'm gonna cut these floor panels out and I'm gonna save them, I'm just gonna spread them out. And I'm gonna do the same with the brakes, I'm gonna spread it out. Look at that brake system, look at that. It's got brake on each side and a handbrake. Look at that, that's crazy. That's cool, I like that. Well, I'm going to spread that out, put that 10 horse to cup sheet on there with this torque converter, and uh, we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Okay, I got the motor mocked up here on the trail, sir, and I'm not happy with it because it's too far forward. I need to kick it over a bit and put it back as far back as I can. And the reason I, I need to do that is because of these foot pads where you put your feet. Originally they were here. And I couldn't find a good suitable place to put them, but yet try to keep the originality of the Cushman scooter. That's what I was originally going for. I wanted to repower it with a torque converter, make it go faster, but yet try to keep the originality to it. So I'm not happy with it. But I did take it for a ride, and it's got no brakes. And it goes, it goes good, but it vibrates. It vibrates real bad. It shakes the, the heck out of your hands while you're driving it, because of these 10 horse uh, Tecumish engines, you know, they're, they're not real smooth. They don't, they need like a synchro balance in the motor. So it vibrates real bad. But a couple other things I want to touch on before I take this off and re and cut everything loose and, and remount it all. I did make a new manifold because you can see the carbon traders here now. So I made a little short manifold and I kicked it at an angle because the intake and the exhaust are so close together I kind of had to kick the exhaust, little exhaust manifold I made and the intake manifold, I kind of beat it. So they would, there would be clearance here because I didn't want my hose to get melted. And I made a throttle plate out of an existing throttle plate. And then I used these little clevises are neat that they use for like go-kart racing and stuff. You can find these online. There's a little set screw in there and a cotter pin. You can put the cable through and tighten it. These work nice. And I wanted to keep the original air cleaner and all that on there. So I just got to cut. Everything's just tacked on here, what I did so far, so I can cut all these tacks off, kick it over, and move it back. And then, you know, this was the original muffler, or I mean muffkin, that I took off. And I made a little manifold for that, because I'm trying to use the original muffkin, Cushman muffkin, with their little flex pipe. So, I got to cut all this loose kick it over and remount it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this plate. I went and had me a plate sheared, and I'm gonna mount this secondary on this plate, you know, because you have to maintain this distance. On this one, it's seven and a quarter inches. And then I'll mount the engine and this all on this plate, and then I'm gonna shock mount this plate, and I'm gonna kick it over and move it back. But it, it's, it's, you know, just what happens when you make one of these projects. It takes time and you gotta put a lot of thought into it. Everything's gotta line up. Like I gotta line up the chain in that. Plus that chain's too long. I don't like that chain being that long. So I kick this back and kick it back in here. I'm gonna try to get this as, as much as I can back in this area. And then that side panel that's on there, you'll just have to take that off whenever you wanna change the belt. And then I should be able to put these back on in their original spot. But the only thing I'm going to do is I might push them out a little bit. And then I can get my brakes hooked up. 
So, that's where we're at on this. At least I know it works and it dries and it's fast. Just gotta start over again. I thought I was getting somewhere, but no, nope, that's what happens. Now I gotta start over again. So stay tuned! Pretty quiet. Uh oh, got a gas leak all of a sudden. Oh, that loosened up. You know why that loosened up? Because of all the vibration, like I said. That's why I got a shock mount this thing. Look at it. Could have a fire. That ain't good. All right, emergency, emergency, emergency.